Martin, throughout my life, as I've wondered about existence, I've always been fascinated with cosmology and astronomy. And just when I thought I was sort of getting my arms around it, suddenly we now have multiple universes, which just takes your breath away in terms of what the potential is. Uh, I can't think of a better way to really understand what it's all about mm -hmm. than to discuss is this just fiction, or could there really be multiple universes? Well, it's speculation, but I would say it's speculative science and not just metaphysics. And I think we may be in for a conceptual leap, rather like early leaps in the past, because we've gone over history from a view of the uh, geocentric universe, yeah. Copernican universe, the idea that we have a Milky Way galaxy, and then the idea since the 1920s that that galaxy is one of billions. But we may be led to the idea that there's far more to physical reality than the vast domain that we can see through our telescopes. We can see through our telescopes a region extending at least 10 billion light years away from us, the expanding universe which started in the so-called Big Bang. But we have every reason to expect that there's a lot of space and time beyond the horizon of our observations. There's a limit to how far we can see with our telescope, set by essentially how far light's been able to get since the Big Bang. And there's every reason to expect that there are many, many galaxies beyond that that we'll never see. And it's rather like if you imagine being in the middle of an ocean, on a ship, you climb up the mast, you see a horizon around you, but there's no reason to think that the ocean ends just beyond your horizon. And if you climb up the mast a bit higher, you can see a bit more. But the question is, what lies beyond? Is it just more and more of the same? Are you on an infinite ocean? Or is there something very different far beyond? I think most of us would say that it's very likely that the universe, in the form that we see within the domain of our telescopes, extends thousands of times further. You'd be surprised if it didn't extend. The reason for that is that if we look as far as we can in that direction, as far as that in the other direction, we see no difference with the precision of one part in 100,000. So the gradient across that domain is so tiny, it would be amazing if the universe didn't extend thousands of times beyond what we can see. But maybe it goes much further still. In fact, you could imagine it going on inf infinitely. And if that were the case, then we have the fascinating possibility that there may be somewhere a universe exactly resembling ours, a galaxy exactly resembling ours, and there could be an Earth with replicas of us, because all combinatorial options will be repeated if you have enough space and enough time. And so it could be that our domain of space and time, the aftermath of our Big Bang, is vast enough to encompass every possible option. That would be fascinating. But even that is not all, because I've talked so far about just the aftermath of our Big Bang. Some people think that our Big Bang is just one of many, and that there could be other Big Bangs, which would be in completely disjoint regions of space and time, maybe even embedded in some higher dimension, and they could lead to different cosmoses. There are lots of ideas on this. One is an idea called eternal inflation, that uh, there's a sort of substratum which is expanding exponentially and Big Bangs pop off in it. Another idea is that there may be different domains of space and time embedded in some higher dimension, just as we can imagine two two-dimensional surfaces, each with ants crawling around on them, and one is not aware of the other. So there could be another universe just a millimeter away from ours, but we're not aware of it because that millimeter is measured in some fourth spatial dimension and we're imprisoned in R3. So there could be other domains of space and time. The other question is, if there are these other domains, are they like ours? Are they governed by the same physics? Do they contain the same sort of atoms? Are they governed by the same force of gravity, etc.? And again, that's another separate question. And that's a very important question. The fascinating option is that there are these other universes and they're governed by different physical laws. Space may be different, gravity may be different, atoms may be different. And so we would then have all these universes 
governed by different laws, and only some tiny subset of them would be governed by laws that allowed complexity to evolve. Most would be sort of sterile because gravity was too strong to allow complex structures because atoms weren't stable or for some other reason. So there are two fundamental questions which are one of the greatest challenges, I think, to 21st century science. Uh, the first is, was our Big Bang the only one? We don't know the answer to that. And the second is, if there were many Big Bangs, were they all replicas of each other, or did they end up governed by different laws? The most fascinating option, of course, is the idea of many Big Bangs displaying an immense variety of physical laws, because then science fiction is the only limit to what <laughs> might happen, and we can regard our universe as being in some sense selected as the one in which complexity could evolve. But those two challenges, I think, are among the greatest for science in the 21st century, and maybe far beyond, because it may be that uh, they involve physics, which is beyond what we can grasp even in the 21st century. Is there any hope of getting experimental data to support theory for either one, multiple Big Bangs, or what the laws might be if there were? I think there is, because there are lots of uh, fundamental physical experiments which we can do, uh, which may give clues to what the fundamental laws are. <clears throat> and so if we had a theory which explained things in our present day universe that we can observe, like why there are three kinds of neutrinos, why protons and electrons exist, etc., then that theory would have gained credibility. And we would then take seriously its implications for cosmology. And if that theory says something about the Big Bang, and if there are many Big Bangs, then we take it seriously. To give an example, uh, we believe that we can talk about the first few seconds of the Big Bang when hydrogen and helium were made because the laws of nuclear physics that apply then can be tested here on Earth. Similarly, we believe we can understand what happens inside the sun, although we can't go there because we can test the laws on Earth. And so it could be that we'll be able to corroborate the theories that are relevant to the Big Bang in other ways. Another possibility is that we may have a theory which makes some predictions about our Big Bang, and that's refuted. And so we have ways of refuting ideas of the multiverse if they make predictions about this particular manifestation of it that we live in. And so for that reason, I would regard this subject as part of science in that it is potentially testable, it links into laboratory physics even, and it's potentially falsifiable. So it's not purely metaphysics, although it clearly does have metaphysical implications. It is just so astonishing. I mean, can one conceive of even nesting these multiple universes? So if there were universes in extra dimensions, those universes can generate their own chaotic inflation or their own activity. So you have a nesting of, of infinities of universes. I mean, it, it, it seems so incredible. Well, uh, people have uh, speculated about that ideas, and uh, it could be that's the way it'll work out, because one particular option is uh, that there could be all kinds of uh, possibilities for the physical laws and for the nature of space, and the uh, physical reality as a whole could be just as complicated as any biological structure, biological organism, with just as much variety. So that's one possibility. Some physicists don't like that. They'd like to think that the laws of nature are clear-cut and we can understand them. But it may be that the underlying laws which govern the whole of physical reality are very complicated. And what we observe within our astronomical universe is just some tiny special case of this immense variety. And in that context, what we call the laws of nature would just be local bylaws in our cosmic patch, <laughs> as it were. Uh, they apply in the region we can observe, which is a vast region extending 10 billion light years away. But still, in this enlarged perspective, if we've made this extra Copernican leap from a universe to a multiverse, then these would just be bylaws. And there may indeed be some underlying laws, but they'd be still more general. And it's not 
uh, an entirely new concept because we're used to the idea of uh, realising that what we thought was something special is just an example. Um, Kepler thought our solar system was something very special, look for exact laws, whereas we now know that it's just one of many planetary systems. We don't look for special laws governing our solar system. And likewise, we may have a deeper level of laws which apply more broadly than what we've traditionally called our universe. I find that absolutely astonishing that if we have multiple universes, mm -hmm. each with its own set of laws mm -hmm. similar to ours, that they would all be different and all generating really almost all possibilities would, 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 would come out of that. Well, this is certainly conceivable. And indeed, there are some theorists who with a straight face talk about models like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to, to achieve that, if we have multiple universes all generating different laws, mm -hmm. there has to be, at some deeper level, some series of laws or, or law at the multi-universe level in order to generate all the multiple universes that have different laws. Does that make sense? Oh, indeed, there would be a set of fundamental laws. But what we have thought to be the are, fundamental are laws are just, just sort of right. secondary parochial consequences, as it were. Specific yes. expressions of some general right. law. So, so there would have to be a, 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 a universe generating law that generates different universes with different laws, but there'd have to be a, a, some sort of a general universe generating law. Indeed, and if we had that fundamental law, it would tell us what variety was possible in the local bylaws what numbers of dimensions were possible, yeah. etc., and what range of possible uh, laws governing atomic physics, etc. And we don't know. And the question is how far we will get in meeting that challenge in this century. But that's one of the fundamental questions. What is your instinctive feeling? Well, I feel the only appropriate stance is agnosticism, <laughs> uh, because we just don't know. But I would say that. Uh, there are some physicists who I believe uh, conflate what they would like to be the case with what actually is likely to be the case. Easy to do. Indeed, and many people would like to uh, be able to write on their T-shirt the equations that determine exactly the laws of physics that we observe here on Earth. That's a worthy goal. It's wonderful people are searching for this, but they may fail. It could be that uh, um, the uh, laws as we understand them traditionally are just these local environmental accidents of uh, the aftermath of our particular Big Bang and that there are laws at a much deeper level. Um, I find that a rather grand and fascinating concept even though it means we're further from being able to grasp the final laws but uh, uh, as to which way it'll pan out then I think we have to ask these two questions. First, is our Big Bang the only one? Yes. And secondly, if there are many Big Bangs, are they all governed by the same laws or do they display immense variety?